In this section, we will use the wall tool, the round wall tool, the wall recess command, and the extrude command to create some basic scenery objects. To create a round ramp, we are going to use the round wall tool from the building shell toolset. The wall tool and the rounded wall tool, although intended just to create walls, can be used to create other objects as well. First, let's turn off some layers to make it easier to work. Select Tools, Organization. Click on the Layers tab, turn off Soft Goods and Audience Layers. Click OK. Now, let's create the round wall. In the view bar, set the class to Scenery-Ramp and the layer to Scenery. Select the round wall tool from the building shell tool set. In the toolbar, select left control line mode, then the radius mode, and click on the preferences button. Set the overall thickness of the round wall to 4 feet, and click OK. Click once in the center of the stage, move the cursor straight down. Press tab to enter the floating data bar. Set the length to 4 feet, press tab, Set the angle to 90 degrees and press enter or return twice. Move your cursor in a counterclockwise direction. Draw an arc that is 270 degrees. The ramp end should face the audience. Press enter or return or click once to complete the wall. Set the height to 3 feet 6 inches in the object info palette. Next, we are going to edit the wall with the reshape tool from the basic palette. This will give the ramp its shape. Select View, Standard Views, Left Isometric. Select Tools, Organization. Select the Design Layers tab and turn off Theater Architecture layer. This will make it easier to reshape the round wall. Activate the Reshape tool in the Basic Palette. Grab the top blue control point on the downstage edge of the wall. Drag it to the ground. Now we will create a platform at the top of the ramp. Select View, Standard Views, Top Plan. Activate the Rectangle tool. Set it to Corner to Corner Mode. Click once on the left point of the wall face that is parallel to the audience. Press the Tab key to enter the floating data bar. Set Delta X to 4 feet and delta Y to negative 6 inches. With the rectangle selected, select Model Extrude. In the Create Extrude dialog box, set the extrusion to 3 feet 6 inches. Switch the Rectangle tool to Center to Corner mode. Click once on the center of the extruded rectangle you just created and move the cursor down and to the right. Press Tab to enter the floating data bar. Set the delta X to 2 feet and the delta Y to 2 feet. Extrude this rectangle to 6 inches. In the object info palette, set the bot Z to 3 feet 6 inches. We are now going to create a wall behind the ramp. In the view bar, set the class to scenery walls. Select the wall tool from the building shell tool set. Upstage of the ramp, draw a wall with a thickness of 10 inches length of 24 feet and height of 20 feet. Select Tools, Organization, choose the Design Layers tab and turn on all of the layers. Center the wall on the stage and between the ramp and the back upstage curtain. To make this wall more interesting, let's give it a few recesses. Using the center to corner mode of the rectangle tool, create a rectangle that is one foot by one foot on the center of the left end of the wall. With the rectangle selected, select Model Extrude and set the extrusion to 7 feet. In the Object Info palette, set the Bot Z to 4 feet. 
With the extrude selected, activate the Move by Points tool in the Basic Palette. In the toolbar, enable the Distribute mode, and make sure the Object Retention mode is disabled. Now, set the number of duplicates to 3. Click once on the center of the left end of the wall, and then a second time in the center of the wall. Press the X key on your keyboard once to switch to the Selection tool. Hold the Shift key and click on the extrude in the center of the wall to deselect it. With only the two extrudes on the left selected, activate the Mirror tool in the Basic Palette and make sure the Duplicate mode is enabled in the toolbar. Click once in the center of the wall, move the cursor up, making sure the vertical cursor cue is showing, before clicking a second time. With the five extrudes and the wall selected, select Spotlight, Architectural, Create Wall Recess. Accept the default cut plane and click OK. Finally, let's create a column using the Column tool. First, set the class to Scenery-Columns. In the Building Shell toolset, select the Column tool. Double-click in Stage Left of Wing 2. The Columns Object Property dialog box will appear. Enter the following settings. Height, 18 feet. Shaft type, oval. Shaft taper, classic taper. Capital type, oval mushroom. Base type, oval. And click OK. If the dialog box does not automatically pop up, you can enter the settings through the Object Info palette. We now have a theater with a stage, soft good objects, seating, and scenery. At this point, take a moment and use the flyover tool located in the basic palette to take a look at your 3D model.